Hello creative souls, welcome to this sanctuary where you can transform, mute dance and soul and speak your authentic voice. I am Chandini, I am a dancer and I am a mindset coach and I help dancers to bring their dream dance into reality. So if you want to follow more about my work in the description, you will have the link for my Instagram. This is where everything is happening. You have, you can collect some of my freebies. There is my 10 days free experience that is really amazing and I really get amazing feedback from it. So thank you very much. I see that it's really helping you a lot. So if you didn't have it yet, just go download it there. It's an audio training actually, very short, just 10 minutes by 10 minutes. And it will really give you my exact blueprint that I'm still following right now. And also, I'm in the moment where I am rebooting some training also to make it really better for you. So that will be available soon. And also, if you want to work on one on one with me on this exact blueprint of the 10 days, I opened the portal, the pre-sale it is still going on. Careful, on the 21st of July, it goes to full rate forever. So if you want to work with me, you have the choice between three weeks or six weeks. And I can tell you that when we are starting to implement that together, it will really change everything in your life and in your dance. So today, again, we are going to break some bullshit because you know how much I love to break bullshit in this world. So again, today we, we started this series of breaking um, misconception about what is self-confidence. So today we are addressing the belief of, oh, if I am self-confident, mean I never feel unsure or I don't have any insecurities. You see me coming? This is bullshit. <laughs> so actually, the real self-confidence and trust, it's yeah, knowing that your thoughts create whatever you think is going to give you the life and the experience you want. And mostly it's like it's a very deep self-growth because you learn how to reframe your mind and your thoughts and you realize why you are doing it that right now all your life has been dictated by this believe that by this pattern of thinking you thought you was making decision being rational being like oh this is logic or no no this is all bullshit your mind has tricked you all this time so when you reframe your mindset you access a total new potential and you have an access to new realities this is how we manifest with the quantum field of energy and this is very scientific by the way if you're interested to make some research on that um all to say that when you are changing your thoughts, you are obviously growing. Yes, you are solving some insecurities, but when you are totally self-confident, does not mean insecurities or, or some fears or just feeling little and sure will never pop up in your life. Yes, it will always happen because you are human. We have a human experience. So it is normal to have also what we call the negative uh, emotions or feelings or thoughts. But the main difference is like when you are in self-confidence, when you are in your power, when you are in your empowering, you know how to handle those thoughts. You know how to handle your insecurities, how to address them. This is a very different game because usually when you operate from fears, you just follow your fears, you become very anxious and you take decision according to this anxiety or it just take you drive you crazy for days and maybe weeks and months. I remember how much I was I was insomniac, I was stress panic, I got stress attack very often actually because one thing will happen and I feel like my entire world is falling apart and I was like how are I going to handle that, this is the end of the world, this is really how I was. When now I'm like, yeah, yeah, I see that, ah, I see you want to think that, that fear and that, yeah, but you know what, actually I'm choosing something else. So this is what happened when you're self-confident, doesn't mean there is an absence of fears, doubt and worries. It means like immediately you see it, you're aware of it, that before you didn't know you were just going crazy on it. Now you're aware of it, you see it. So because you see it, you can sit and address to it saying like, okay, I hear that you are thinking that right now, but you know what? We are choosing that, no, this is going to work out very well. I'm going to succeed that. This is not a problem. This not won't happen. I am safe. I am secure because if I say so, this is what is going to happen. So if I say I'm safe and secure and it will work out, then God, it will work out <laughs> because this is what does your mind. It creates your reality. So if you're very strong and bold and persisting in your favorable thoughts, 
reality has no choice it has to conform to you so it's more about redirecting your thoughts you redirect it when you get the fear like oh i want to let's say you are opening your uh, own uh, studio for uh, uh, your dance and all of a sudden you get to feel like oh, and if it doesn't work out and I have to pay these bills and I have to pay that and I have a loan oh, how I'm gonna do you just before spiraling and going to the end of the wall because your fear is legit and again it's not our fault it is not your fault I really want to tell you that don't blame yourself for having this fear because I did also when I start to work on my mindset I went to several stage and challenges and I could make a entire video about that for hours but just to tell you that it is normal to at one moment to go to a stage of ah oh, no i should not think that i'm i'm working on my mindset i should not be negative i should not be fear no you are a human it is normal what matter is your reaction to it at the moment you stop to give power to this fear it disappears and it vanishes so if you just think about it like for it, let's say one second two second 30 second one minute okay fine just because you say like, you know what? No, no, I choose. I choose that it's working out in my favor. I choose that it's going to happen well. You know what? You, this fear, I don't trust you. You are a liar. You are trying to keep me in my comfort zone. I don't want to listen to you. Get out and you keep, you go on your affirmation or any tool that is helpful for you to pass that anxious moment. And then your brain will, it learn your brain. It will go back to your affirmation and to your empowering thinking and it's fine. It's solved. You won't even think about it. Your focus is totally out of your fear. This is the biggest, the biggest difference when you are self-confident. This is what is a real empowering mindset and it's extremely powerful. So I know that sometimes it can be tricky for some people because they feel like, yeah, but I feel I'm lying to myself. I'm being totally delusional. I'm thinking things that are so far away of what I'm experiencing. And like, are you sure? Are we not lying to ourselves? And actually, no, your brain is already lying to you for all these years since you are born. Because if you don't know that, our primitive brain, the part that he wants to keep us alive, didn't have changed from the moment humanity is born. It is always the same part of the brain. This is exactly the same. It didn't change at all. Even though we started to get a logical mind and the thinking and the complex thinking and mathematics and we evolve in civilization, this small part of the brain did not change at all. So even though our life have changed and we are not anymore chased by a tiger normally, your brain it is still very worried about what it doesn't know what uh it's maybe yeah it, because by what it doesn't know because something you don't know then how i'm gonna react i never experienced that i don't know how it is so maybe it is scary so maybe it's not safe because i don't know what it is i have never seen it so your brain think like that so that's why it's trying to keep you in a, yeah i know like you don't i know you are not happy when you are broke when you don't have students when you are facing opposition and everything but that we know we know how to manage we are live in this atmosphere from so much years but the one that asks you to be empowered, the bold, the delusional, and after your dream reality will happen, we don't know that. It's maybe scary. We should not do that. So always remember, your brain is always trying to fool you. Your brain is always trying to, <laughs> to do all the BS, okay? So do not listen to it. You choose. You decide. You decide what you think. You decide what's going to be real or not. Because your thoughts, again, create. And if you are like me, a very pragmatic person who is very anchor in uh, science and everything you just do all the research about what did joe dispenza what how works the placebo effect how was the quantum field how are observing our reality we can change it just by the way we we change the observation you go to all of that you will see that is very solid and real this is not some hoo hoo magic we are teaching here like i'm not a guru okay <laughs> this is not my stuff so if you're very scientific grounded like me you just go search all the information by yourself and you will see how much it is solid. And this is what still keep me in the hard time on this journey. Thinking like, yeah, but that's my chance. That's my only chance to keep my thoughts. That's my only chance to get what I want and to get out from this mess and to get my dream life and to be on the right track. So knowing that it was very scientific for me, it helped me to keep that mindset and to keep that trust. Because at the end of the day, it's a trust in you. It's a trust in your thoughts. It's a trust in that... The universe works that way 
the, the universe is not deciding you should get it or no. It's just like this is how with the quantum field, with the frequencies and your thoughts and your subconscious, this is how you talk to the universe and this is how you create your reality. So when you have trust in that, like no matter what I see, no matter how it is my life right now of my dance journey, if I keep these thoughts of I am good enough, I am the best, I am successful in my dance studio, I am successful in my company, I always get all the gigs I want, I'm always booked, I'm making a living with my dance. If you stay focused on that, and you close from all the noise that is all around you, like, no, this is not safe career, no, this is too much instable, no, there is too much competition, and all these scarcity minds. And when you shut down all this shit, when you shut down all that and you're focused on, I am successful, I am so proud of what I'm doing, I love what I'm doing, and I'm good, and I'm valued, and I am appreciated because I first, again, validated myself. So because I validated myself, the universe does not have any choice. Even the universe has to validate me. This is real self-trust and self-confidence. When you do that, you are unshakable. you are magnetic. No one can move you from anything. No one can take anything from you. You dictate your reality. You decide how it's going to happen your dance journey. So still, all, always when there will be a new situation, let's say you open your studio, you have some fear. Then your studio is working very well. And then all of a sudden, I don't know, for the first time you are going to travel and do workshop in a, some big festival. Yeah, fears will pop up. It's normal. It's a new situation. And at that moment, your responsibility is to say like, no, this is the thoughts I choose. It's going to happen well. I hear, I hear, I hear you, fears. I see you, but I don't care. I don't want to feed you. Actually, I want to feed my success. I want to feed the positive thoughts. And that's how you get rid of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that is really helping you. Please do like, comment, share, subscribe, it helps this channel to grow and I'm very thankful for you and if you have any question or anything you want to address, you can comment below, I will be surely reading your comment, otherwise let's meet on Instagram, that's an amazing place where I like to post every day, empowering message and uh, post. So thank you very much for being here, I wish you a very good week and see you next week to break more bullshit.